What's up the YouTubes? Today I have a product review for you. This is the Lianli V33 dual chamber aluminium really unique case for you guys to see. So I'm just going to skim over the specifications or the main features if you like, talk about the pricing and then of course we'll have a closer look. So this is from Lianli, first time I've seen a product from them but I am very much aware of what they do. The cube design has a really interesting design twist, which I'm not going to give away yet. Perhaps you might know it, so more on that soon. But pricing here in the UK is £180 for this model. So yes, that is quite expensive and I will have to get a bit of a feel for the case. And, and then I can come back and wrap up with my thoughts. The dual chamber design, we have a horizontal sort of shelf that goes across the middle, which means the motherboard sits on top power supply and storage underneath. Now in terms of limits when it comes to uh, say power supplies, graphics cards and coolers, this case has really got a lot going on for it in terms of being future proof because power supplies up to 300 mils, graphics cards 330 and for height of your CPU cooler 190. So the guys have really thought about what's going to come in the future and despite having all this extra ability in terms of what it can fit. The overall product size doesn't feel too big. It's actually quite a nice compact little unit. What I must say before we continue is that there's three different models and this is really quite tricky to get your head around. This is the V33WX and it has a tempered side glass panel. So that's where the price tag of 190 pounds comes from in the UK. The V33B and the V33A, which is a black version and a silver version, you would have thought they'd have V33S, but they haven't. Um, anyway, those two models have uh, dual push-on panels. And that will become clearer as we get in the video. But anyway, they're about £30 less. So £30 is paying for your tempered glass panel. And as I said, this is the WX version. The only difference between any of the models, apart from colours, is the side panel. Anyway, start our tour from the front and I must apologize straight away for these finger marks but they are something that sort of comes hand in hand with the product because of the brushed aluminium finish that Lian Lee use. It is a bit of a chore to clean uh, after you assemble it the first time just give it a wipe down and then you should be fine. So I do apologize for these marks but I figured it was probably better to leave them in there and demonstrate you know what to expect so anyway from the front we have this single ventilation section here which is going to tie in and become a lot clearer later but this is your main ventilation intake now what i do like is that you don't have the additional drilled holes where you would generally have screws and such for your 120s or 140s or whatever that you generally got in there i do like this really nice clean look and as we progress you'll see how they've done that in the center we've got a small power button and then you have your two audio inputs and outputs and then dual USB 3.0. It's really not an issue, but I do prefer when brands can black these out. In this particular case, it really doesn't matter at all. Now the side panel window, with it being glass, I'm going to come back to that last. I'm going to focus on the other side first. So on the non-glassed version of the case, this is what you're going to have on both sides. This exact design, which just again is pretty much similar to the front, but we have this inclusion of this extra bar. And those panels just literally pop off as such. But I'm not going to get ahead and show you guys inside yet. Looking now at the rear, there's a couple of things to talk about. We'll start at the base and work our way up. Remember to dual chamber design. So this portion is separated from what you see above. So in the bottom, you obviously have your power supply. You have your first of two 120 mil fans. This little area here is actually for an optional extra. You can get an add-on from Lianli, which controls an RGB LED. You would just fit it here. And I do like the fact that it's low key and it's just blends in quite naturally. On the upper chamber, we have another 120 mil fan. We have a bolt over cover, which just removes with a single thumb screw for your seven PCI slots. And then obviously the IO here. With these two thumb screws, after I show you guys the other panel, I will come back and explain their purpose. It's a very, very interesting feature of the case. Now, unfortunately, because we're dealing with glass, as you can see, reflections, no matter how I've tried to adjust my studio, it is a little bit difficult. I do apologize for that. But anyway, what we have is the glass panel. 
and it just fits with these simple four screws you just loosen them to remove which i'll do in a second four of them in total and with them being black they just blend in seamlessly now the camera is obviously picking up the reflection uh that's not quite the case with uh, you know your own eyes it doesn't quite have as much refraction going on but what i will do is come back later and show you guys how it looks with some lighting and hopefully that'll give you a, a better representation now i am doing things a little bit sort of back to front today what i'm going to do is just let you guys sort of see how things are laid out internally so in the lower chambers what we first have is this dual storage area and what you do is just simply remove some screws remove the entire tray out and then you can have either dual ssds or dual mechanical drives or a mixture of each the product will take a maximum of four drives which let's be realistic is more than enough for most yes lots of products offer up to seven eight and even more drives these days but not many of us are going to use them we'll just turn the case to the side slightly you will see that that bottom 120 mil fan is going to take any heat out you know with an ssd that's not so much of a problem but with mechanical drives that is going to pull any heat out incidentally the lower chamber doesn't have any intake that area up here is going to be for your system only so in the lower chamber you definitely want to make use of this fan to exhaust any heat away from your drives now i've actually installed a modular power supply here what I will say is that it is an absolute massive room over here, so it doesn't really matter what power supply you use on, you know, even a much longer power supply. There's so much room here for cabling, it is ridiculous. But what you do need to keep in mind because of the glass panel on the other side is you don't really want to bundle up and just throw everything in there. Do take a little bit of time to try and make it look a bit neater. And what I want to show you guys now is the most interesting feature of the case. Simply remove the two thumb screws at the back. And then this four panel just opens up like that, which means I can now access any part of the system. This is more like a test bench now than anything. Simple two thumb screws, nothing to line up, nothing to worry about. You don't need to remove anything. And when you're done changing any parts or maintenance or whatever it is, just bring that back up, make sure that the latches go over, and then thumb screws. Really, really cool system. Now, because the IO is attached at the front, Leanne have been very mindful of the cable lengths. They're neither too long nor too short. There's no restrictions or pull on those cables when you lower that down. Now, it's not particularly clear from this angle because I have the tubing in the way, but I have a radiator and then the fans. And look at the ridiculous amount of room I have left over. So I can definitely get another second set of fans on there, or I can use a thicker radiator. There is an absolute ton of room between this front and the motherboard. Now what I really do like is this simple peel on, peel off magnetic dust filter. Really simple to remove, you can get in there. Now obviously I have got this all in one cooler put on in reverse just now. This is where your fans would be. And I really like that little extra touch. Okay, then it's time to wrap up with some sort of conclusion. I've actually been using the product for a few days now. Now I did want to get an RGB LED sort of controller in there, you know, and show you guys some of the effects. Unfortunately, that's gone to silicon heaven, and I'm limited to a simple blue LED. And because I've got the studio lights on, you can't really see it too well. So we'll overlay some images now as I'm talking. And hopefully, you can get a bit of a feel of how the, you know, the overall look is with the glass, because it makes such a great difference. But... Anyway, time to sort of wrap up and grade the product. Now, the price tag is going to be a dividing factor between one consumer and the next. It's either going to be within reach or out of reach. And, you know, there's not really anything I can say about the price point being too high or too low. I actually think it's about right. Obviously, it's quite, you know, it's up there. There aren't many other products in this range. But what I will say is, you know, in Leanne Lee's defense, or to justify it if you like, the quality, the craftsmanship and the materials are what you are paying for here. Yes, the design is similar to some other products out there. You know, this isn't the only huge dual chamber case on the market, but what it is, is definitely the best top quality 
that I had the chance to work with. You know, I've had some similar-ish design products, but they've been plastic, lightweight, uh, cheap for a reason. Um, and yes, the design is similar, but the features, it's just not as good. Yes, when it comes to pricing, it's a little bit hard to swallow, but I think it's, you know, it's justified in terms of the quality that's gone into this product, the craftsmanship, the materials. It's really, without a doubt, the best that you can get, you know. The finish is phenomenal. The glass is £30 more for this model. So if you're not interested in the glass and you just want the side panel version, that's fine, go for that. But this is the one for me. Uh, my initial thoughts were quite simply a glass panel on the side. Really going to look good, but what about the wires? And as you can see, in actual fact, with a little bit of effort, it really looks very good. And because it's black internals, you get this almost smoked glass effect anyway. And then once you add some lighting in there, it just looks ridiculously good. Uh, as I said, I have had the chance personally to have some other lights in there before the LED popped. Um, and due to time restrictions and such, I can't get one here in time. But um, I will say white looks really good in there. Just you know, white brings out the accents. So anyway, I'm rambling. One thing I did forget to mention during the previous section of the video is the little bundle that you get on well, saying little bundle. It's a really cool addition. You've got two three pin to four pin Molex adapters if you want to convert the included fans and run them direct to the power supply. USB 3.0 to 2.0 converter if you've got an older motherboard. Um, and everything else is just simple thumb screws and lots of different sizes of course for two and a half inch drives and three and a half and they're bought directly into the wall washers. It just seems like the really thought of you know everything the only single area that i can see that could have been tweaked or improved i haven't had a chance to measure it and i'm just guessing this purely by looks it's just it is now as we're wrapping up is the 240 mil radiator limit now obviously the spacing holes for a 280 aren't that much different um and i'm just looking now wondering could they have squeezed 280 mil support on there because yes it's less common but it is becoming more common. So in terms of future proofing, maybe they could have added uh, the mounts for 140 mil fans as well, which would have granted us a 280 mil radiator. Um, but everything else, I'm really, really pleased with the product. Now, obviously, I've probably got a soft spot for this product because, um, you know, six out of seven days of the week, I'm using a test pen. So the fact that I can just pop this panel off and get in there, is a real blessing but you know even for the average consumer when it comes to upgrade time just being able to pop that panel forward and get in there with no restrictions is really welcome you know if you're doing any troubleshooting or upgrading so all in all i think i've rambled enough i would like to thank Leanne lee for sending the product out as usual because i do these videos on the fly and there are some areas that i might miss and you know th this is life uh do check the review link below it Anything that I may have missed may be in there. I can also expand and go into a bit more detail about different areas. There will obviously be some links in the description if you want to check out the product, the current price. But I do implore you to head off to the review link below if you've got the time to do so. So that's going to do it for today, YouTubers. I will see you guys in the not-too-distant future.